Okay, it's been a few days since my, oh, looks like my polyphemus moth eggs have hatched. Um, it was a few days ago that they had hatched. And what I did was I stuck a fresh thing of oak in there for them to eat. Let's see how they're doing here. As you can see, they are eating just fine. Let me put this down here. It looks like they may even be molting. That guy's already molted in the second instar here because there's his skin. Yeah, so they're already molting in the second instar. So I'm late in getting these guys onto some fresh living food. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go out and cut some good, good fresh oak leaves and actually put the stems in water this time. Because as you can see, when they're not in water, they're, this stem was just resting in this cup with no water. Um, it's not the best scenario for them. We got some kind of crawling around on the sides. That's not good. You want them on the leaves, on the plant. Um, they're looking for something more fresh. Actually, they may have just molted. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is go cut some leaves. Okay, I cut some fresh oak leaves, guys. There's a little tiny oak tree growing in, in out of my neighbor's, side of my neighbor's house. So cut a few fresh stems. You don't wanna go too crazy. You don't wanna overfeed or put too much food in the container because number one, it's you have to change it out in a few days. So you don't wanna waste it. But also it makes it just harder to maintain. You need a bigger container and oak stems don't bend that well. So, I mean, these are small yet, so you can bend them a little bit and actually kind of like, here's my container that I'm gonna start them off in. Uh, these stems need to be able to bend to fit inside the container. So uh, what I do is I get these plastic 16 ounce cups. There's an ant. Um, these plastic 16 ounce cups and what I'll do is I'll cut a little star hole in the top with an X-Acto knife. Just cut like, you know, four slices right in the same spot in op opposing directions. And that way, when you put your stem in, the lid, the plastic of the lid closes tight around the stem because if it doesn't, your little caterpillars will go wander down the stem and wind up drowning in the water so you don't want that uh, so pretty simple this is a great system I like using these cups instead of a water pick for things like oak just because uh, you know you don't want to just always have to be filling up your water pick with this thing I don't have to worry about it so you can just put your stems in there and then like in three days when I go put more food in I, I don't even have to remove this one I can just stick another stem in the same container and they'll they'll just crawl onto the new foliage naturally i don't have to pluck the caterpillars off so now the first thing we'll do is i have a little container here it's a six quart food container you could probably buy it at like a restaurant supply store or, you know home goods or something like that um obviously I like it clear so you can see what's going on inside the container. So this fits down in here and then gently without breaking the stems, we like to just curl the leaves down. If you can have some of the leaves touching the, the paper towel on the bottom, always put a paper towel liner on the bottom. If you can have the stems touching the paper towel, it's good. In case the caterpillar ever falls off, he can easily find his way back up onto the food. But I, I don't, that's not that much of a problem with silk moths because the silk moths are just so, you know, they don't really fall off. Their, their pro legs latch on pretty good and, you know, it's, it's a good deal. So now we have, let me see if I can count them. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, let's see, did I do that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14. All right, there's 14 right on this leaf. And that is going to wind up being too much for this container. It's okay for now. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just rest this stem here in the leaves of the, the new stem that I just put in. And they'll, they'll just crawl onto the new stuff and start eating. Um, this container here, once the caterpillars get to fourth instar, is probably only gonna be able to hold about three caterpillars uh, because you just can't keep that much oak. They eat so much that you just can't keep that much oak in a small container. So um, I'll probably just raise a couple of them in these you know, after they get to like third instar. I'll probably just raise like three of them in one of these containers. And then the rest of them, I'll probably put in a five gallon bucket, which is a lot more easy to manage and you can just jam a whole lot more food in there. So, uh, but not only do we have 14, we still have more in the cup. So let's see what else we got in here. We got one more stem here, what do we got? All right, so I got, I got one caterpillar there that just molted. Let's see if I can get, get it up close. They're cute when they just molt. They've got the, the little white head. That, the head turns brown after a day or so. They look cool when they just molt. Okay, so now I think this is the only caterpillar on this stem. So what I will do, I am not a big fan of having unnecessary biomass in a container. So what I'll do is I will chop all of the extra stuff off. Make sure I'm not chopping my caterpillar off. So that only the leaf that the caterpillar is on, I even pluck one more off, all right. Now, only the leaf that the actual caterpillar is on is what I'm putting into my container. And so I'll put him there now. The other ones I have, there are three more caterpillars sitting here on the edge of the container. Usually I will use a paintbrush, but today I'm gonna be lazy because I don't have it with me. Actually, I've got four caterpillars. There's one right here. So this, you gotta be careful because silk moth legs like to grip really hard. You just gotta make sure you don't rip their pro legs because if you do, you kill them. So he's got silk. Okay, you just kind of go from underneath them. You kind of roll underneath them and now that guy's doing just fine. Right there. Okay. So these guys actually might be molting. And that's one of the things that you gotta pay attention to when you're raising caterpillars, guys, is if, you're, if caterpillars are molting, they spin a silk pad. And they use that silk pad to crawl out of their old skin and help them molt. And so, that's actually the worst time to remove them because once they go into their molting phase, they can't spin a new silk pad. So you can actually damage them. You can actually see the silk that they've laid in that spot. This is their, this is their silk pad that they latching onto. And usually they'll sit like that for a day or two, not, not two, but more like a day. And they will molt there and then start feeding the next day is I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of oak in this cup. So when these guys actually molt, they have something to crawl onto and feed on. Oh, actually, because I've actually got more caterpillars <laughs> from the eggs. I didn't realize I had more. The eggs kept hatching. So I actually have more caterpillars Good problem to have, right? Since these caterpillars are feeding, let's see, there's one, two, three, four on there. I'm just gonna 
I'm just going to place them right here in the container on top of the leaves. Now I've got upwards of 20 caterpillars in this container. So within a few days, I'm going to need to change this, change these leaves and I'm going to need to start splitting the caterpillars into multiple containers because there's, there's not going to be enough. So as you can see, the oak has a very strong branch. It likes to go back into its original shape. So it was really pushing up. So I have to snap this lid down. Now these guys are ready to go. You know, they're for the next two, probably two, three days, you know, they're frass. The droppings isn't so big and it doesn't create a moisture issue in the container when the caterpillars are this small. So I'll just come back in a couple days and we'll do round two. So guys, if you liked the video, if you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are raising polyphemus moths. So hope you like it guys. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Ciao.